but you don't like your weight, so then you're gonna change it, that is how you mess it up. Hey babe, I'm still, I'm, I'm going through the help thread and smoothie shred. There's still like 104 comments left. It's gonna take you a week to get through those. <laughs> I got some time today, I can get through some. I got good news, baby. What's that? I just got off the phone with a new client. Just saw her at the end of September. 22, newly diagnosed autoimmune disease, exhausted and uh, dizzy all the time. She went full protocol, like full on. She was going to do just part way, but she went full on, totally raw, tons of smoothies, salads, veggies. Just saw her, it's been like a month and a half. All of her symptoms are gone. And here's the cool thing, you'll love this. So she's an athlete, and uh, she said, I've noticed that I recover faster, My, I'm way leaner. Her weight stayed the same, by the way. You know, like a lot of people lately have been saying they lose too much weight. Her weight's identical, but she now is much leaner, and she said every workout she recovers faster. She's building muscle even faster than before. She loves how good she feels. Tons of energy. Hmm. Wait, so, she, so she's in her 20s and she's an athlete? Yeah. I, lo I love working with athletes because you know what? They don't freak out about their body weight. Well, I'm just so happy for her. I'm like, I'm thrilled. It made my whole day. So I'm just telling you, man, that's, that's the difference. And then you got this other 20 year old that took you three days just to send you a log, and then you look at the logs, and uh, that person's not even doing it right, not even close to getting it all right. I mean, he could be on his road to recovery right now. Meanwhile, yeah. this other girl completely annihilates, rids herself of her disease because she follows the instructions. She just listened. And she didn't something? question it, she just did it. You know, the thing is, see for her, she just she just did what I told her to do. Um, the other guy, he's telling me I'm pretty much doing it, but can I just change the rules this way? Can I do it without giving you a journal? Can I, like he's trying to like adapt it into his own idea, and I keep telling him no, it'll only work if you do it as I tell you to do it. If if you if you have never reversed a disease before, if you haven't done it to countless other people, you don't know how. That's the only reason you do not know how. Doesn't matter how many books you've read, doesn't matter who you've talked to, doesn't matter how many videos, documentaries, or YouTube uh, videos you've seen about the subject, you have no idea how to actually do it. So you wanna stick with the people that do this, that do it day in and day out. And all you have to do is follow the rules. Don't make up your own, don't make up your modifications, do the plan exactly how it's laid out and you will get those results. Because if you if you mess up just one little thing, you make one little modification, it's no longer the plan. You've now done it your way and therefore you're gonna get your results. And what's most likely gonna happen is you're gonna get the same results you've always gotten up to now, which is whatever your situation is. And so when I'm speaking with people that are sick, well, it's why you stay sick. It's because you get the information that can change your life and then you modify it in a way that keeps you exactly where you are. You can't, you can't do that. It, it, you, wanna, you wanna pick the plan, stick, it, stick with it to the T. And you know, it doesn't matter why, if, if you go off the plan, it doesn't matter why, excuses do not somehow heal your body if it's good enough. It doesn't work that way. You gotta follow the plan, exactly how it's laid out, and then you're gonna get the results. Then after you heal yourself, then try messing around with things and experimenting and see what may or may not work. But until then, until you're healed, stick with the plan. We've seen this time in and time out, over and over again. It, it just, it doesn't work any other way. You gotta stick with the plan to the T, and you'll succeed. I see a lot of people lie to themselves. The guy that Thomas just mentioned, you know, he, he told me, I'm not, I'm not sending you my journals, but I'm doing it. I finally got the journals. He ate a waffle the other day. Like, that's not doing it. And people lie to themselves and say, I'm doing the smoothies, uh, but I'm not getting better. Maybe it's the smoothies not working. And they're not letting themselves see, well, I'm doing the smoothies, but I ate this that was off plan, or I didn't get all my water in, you know. And I had someone the other day who told me, I'm doing the smoothies and they're not working. And I said, okay, tell me what else you're eating. She was eating fried chicken. But her first thought was, the smoothies aren't working. So you gotta be honest with yourself too. You gotta do it 100%, and that means you don't eat off plan, and you keep yourself accountable. Because as soon as you're not doing it a little bit, you're not doing it. So take a really, check in with yourself. 
Is it really, is, uh, is it the plan that you're following that's not working for you? Or is that you're not working the plan? I mean, every single time I've worked with people that have complained that they haven't been able to get results or uh, they're not where they want to be, we do an audit. I look at their nutrition, I look at what they're doing, how they're living their lifestyle, and every single time, 100% of the time, we spot multiple flaws that, the things that they're doing that are keeping them and keeping their bodies in the state and the health that they're, that they're in. I mean, it's, it, 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 we're, it's easy to see. It's easy to find the flaw. Once we look at what you've been eating, it turns out that you know most people aren't following the protocol that we lay out for them. So a lot of times people will look at one thing that's not where they want it to be, like, oh, I don't like being so skinny. By the way, it's healthy to be skinny. I'm skinny. It's all right. It's all right, people. You know, look, I have collarbones. It's okay, you know? So you got to look at what your body's doing. So if you're getting healthier, your labs are getting better, your skin's getting better, everything's getting better, but you don't like your weight, so then you're going to change it. That is how you mess it up. That's how you rob yourself of results. So stop mm -hmm. coming up with new ideas. Don't change what's already working. And if it's not working, be honest with yourself. All right? Be honest with yourself. Are you doing it 100%? And if you're not, why? Do you need more support? Then maybe it's time to do the rapid recovery group. Is it uh, that, you know, you just have been telling yourself you don't need to do it all the way? Time to change that story because, you know, that's a big thing. I just posted a YouTube video and all the responses have been, oh my God, I do this to myself. I keep looking up new plans and then I do a hodgepodge. Hodgepodge doesn't work. 100% is what works. Hope that helps.